Limestone is also used in agriculture. It may only make up 3% of all quarried limestone, but it's essential for neutralising acid soils. Most crops don't grow so well on acidic soils, so it's important for farmers to test their soils after each harvest. To find out how acid or alkaline it is, the pH of the soil is measured. A small amount is placed in a glass tube. Adding pure water makes a solution. The pH is tested accurately with a specially designed indicator. After mixing the soil and the indicator thoroughly, the tube is left for a few minutes. The soil sinks to the bottom and the colour of the solution is then easy to see. This soil is too acidic. It's at pH 5.5. What it should be is near a pH 6.5. 6.5 is almost neutral. This is where limestone comes in handy. The chemical name for limestone is calcium carbonate. Spreading it over the field will neutralise the acidic soil. Although you can't see it, when calcium carbonate mixes with the soil, a chemical reaction is slowly taking place. On a small scale, the reaction can be observed more easily using dilute acid. A few drops of universal indicator monitor the pH. Red means the solution is strongly acidic. Add calcium carbonate and the solution fizzes. The reaction is producing a gas called carbon dioxide. As more calcium carbonate is added, the redness starts to fade. This colour change means the solution is now less acidic. A yellow-green colour indicates that it's almost neutral. Acid plus calcium carbonate produces a neutral solution. Adding limestone changes the pH of the soil, so can farmers do without it? Farmers are looking to alternatives to limestone. Seaweed is a possibility and they are also using methods such as soil testing and careful crop rotations to reduce its use. But finding an alternative as good as limestone is proving difficult, so it looks as though farmers will be using limestone for a long time yet. <laughs>